So you want to trigger a blend shape or a shape key from a bone bending. Not a problem. Now let's say you want this blend shape to kick in when the finger bends like this on the Z axis. Well to do that we will need the twist corrective node. Now the setup for this is pretty simple. The base frame bone should be the bone that actually rotates. In our case it's the last finger joint. And the twist frame is the parent of the bone that bends. So that would be this joint right here before the end of the finger. Now you probably want to make sure that all of these are set to local space and the hard part is knowing which access to set these things too. Now I'll be honest with you, I don't really understand how or why this works because my bone is clearly bending on the Z axis, but in order to get this to work, we have to set both of these X axis to one, and down here we have to set the twist plane's Y axis to one as well. And then down here you need to copy and paste the exact name of the blend shape curve into this slot here. If you compile now, it will trigger the blend shape so as the bone bends, the shape key kicks in. Now again, depending on what axis your joint needs to bend, you'll probably have to adjust these. Also, if you think you got everything set up but it's still not working, check to see if the axis down here might need to be set to negative one instead, because you might have a joint that needs to bend in the opposite direction. Regardless, once you've set up that, you're done.